Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forewarned us about groups like ISIL and groups like Al-Qaeda and groups like all the, uh, all the various sects. He gave us the preliminary understanding of what we would need to know and understand in order to stay away from them. And that the Sabil al-Mu'mineen, the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is clear and wadah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Taraktukum al bayda o kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet ﷺ, I have left for you that which is clear, clear guidance. Laylaha kan nahariha. That it's the night and the day are both the same, meaning it's so clear that regardless of whether it's night or, or the day, you'll still see that path. That path is clear. And he mentioned that it was the Quran and the Sunnah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Khawarij Kilab Al-Nar, that the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. So what do we need to know in order to combat groups like ISIL and Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab and stuff? What do we need to do as a Muslim community and as a world community, in fact? Because, in fact, it is going to require, and they will continue to manifest, even if you destroyed every member of them, of all those groups, they will come back. They will have more later who will come back just as harsh, just as deviant, just as distorting of the message of Islam and brutal, with brutality. What do we need to know as a Muslim community? In the Muslim community, we need to know Khawarij Kilab al that the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. And that we should treat them accordingly. That they should never have a means for speaking in our masajid. They should never have a space open for debate. They should never be praised. And that in fact the Prophet wasallam said that if he were alive he would fight them and kill them the Qatl al-Aad. He said if he were alive he would fight them. He would fight the Khawarij. They're Muslim. Although the ulama and the Salaf differed over this. But I believe in Allah knows best the correct view is that they are Muslim but they are just deviant and extreme and mainly ignorant and mainly the youth are those who are attracted to them and are from, monk, from amongst them. Wherever they are. Why? Because they have a zeal for Islam. So how do we curb that zeal, Habitifillah, with the youth around the world? Is we give them Islamic, true Islamic knowledge of Kitab or Sunnah. Let them know that Tawheed is first and foremost and that it dictates the call to all the other aspects of Ibadah. They're all based, that our purpose in creation. We have not created mankind with a purpose except for worshiping me. Mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we sent to every message, messenger, uh, every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worship beside him. So our purpose, we have to get this to the youth, articulate this to the youth. And that the world community must destroy, uh, destroy them because they are a threat to them and they're a threat to the Muslims. And as Ibn Umar, I believe, said, or perhaps it was Umar who said about the Khawarij, he said, Yaktuluna Ahla Iman wa Yutrakuna Ahla Uthan. That they kill Ahla Iman, meaning they attack and kill the, the believers. And they leave off the pagans. This is their minhaj. That was their minhaj in the time of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'anhum, ajma'in. And look at now, how many people have those people killed? Boko Haram is, is the most, they must be, you would believe that there's some sort of CIA or some sort of government conspiracy or plot. 
because they only attack Masajid. We don't advocate them attacking churches or anything. But this is who their main target is, is Muslims, believers when they're praying to Allah Azza wa Jal, when they're trying to come to Allah Azza wa Jal, sending suicide bombers from little girls and little boys. What is this? What religion is this? What insanity is this? What type of evil is this? May Allah kill all of them and not leave one of them living. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen because there's such a harm to humanity. There's such a harm to the believers, to those people who call to the Quran and the Sunnah, those people who call to the worship of Allah that they threaten Ahl Tawheed. So Habatifillah, those are just a few pointers on how we need to hopefully address this issue of our youth being recruited. And don't leave the Shabab alone. We need to be active in giving them da'wah and, and mixing with them and helping them because our Shabab do not respond well to what our ulama can do in their lands, in Saudi Arabia and Yemen. They can go to the Masajid, but we live in places where we don't have that kind of activity and we don't have a Muslim government and we don't have any of those things, things supporting us. So it's imperative that the du'at, they go to the youth and they share with the youth and say, Ahabatifillah, this is haram. Ahabatifillah, this is a misunderstanding. And they need to speak out on, against it on the minbar. And this is for the sake of our religion and our safety and our maslaha. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with ilm al-nafi, ruskan tayyibu, ilm al-mutaqabili. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Wa astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Wa astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.